Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had the opportunity to say hello to you all personally. First of all, I just want to say thank you to all of you who prayed for me and Kevin as we got married. Thank you for all your messages. Thank you for yeah, all the prayers uh, that we received um, leading up to the marriage, uh, through the marriage, and afterwards. Thank you for your comments. It's just, it really is just so beautiful and miraculous that we were brought together and through the sacrament of marriage. And it was just such a beautiful, special day. And I'm so grateful to God for all of it. And uh, that was five months ago. <laughs> it's amazing how time goes by so quickly. And um, Kevin and I went on our honeymoon uh, to Rome and we went to Poland also. And we did our own little in the footsteps of St. Faustina. And it was just amazing. I could just tell you some some stories just about that. Um, I I had the opportunity to actually um, to actually sit on Saint Faustina's bed in her childhood home. It was so special. I met her niece. It was just I, I don't know. I, I can't even describe to you as somebody who who got to you know emulate her, play her, portray her for four years. It was magical to get to follow in her footsteps and go to the places that that she went to and we even went to where um i mean so many different places but jesus appeared to her and told her you know gave her the chapel of divine mercy where we went to where jesus appeared to her and um told her you know the to paint the image <laughs> and then we ended our trip with seeing the original image in Vilnius, which was just so special too. So it was a wonderful, blessed trip for sure. And then we, and while we were in Poland, we also went to Auschwitz because we were getting ready to film uh, St. Maximilian Kolbe. So that was uh, in itself just really, I, I mean, it was just especially important because we had that opportunity. Sorry, my, my dogs are making noise in the background, but to be able to be in the place where he was, where he stayed, where he died um, the week before we were going to shoot, that was just very important. And, um, you know, I want to I want to talk about St. Maximilian Colby because we released the, the film on September 1st. I really hope you have looked at it. Um, if you have, thank you. If you haven't, please go watch it right now. It's free. It's on our website. It's on YouTube. You can find information on our social media and please share it with other people. This film was truly, you know, I say they're all labor of loves because they are, but you know, the people, we put it out to you guys two years ago and asked you who you wanted to see the next Momenta Sacra episode be about. And you guys picked St. Maximilian Colby and he was just a little bit above um, a couple of the other ones, but I mean, his story is so beautiful and so powerful. And I think, you know, it's, it's hard to tell someone's entire life story in such a short period of time, but I feel like we did the best that we could with the money that we had and the time that we had. And this really was the largest scope of project that we've ever done. And it was, it was a lot of work coming together. It was it was hard to get the the money to begin with. I mean, this the fundraising was slow, and it's it was only by God's grace that it actually happened. Um, because I was at my <laughs> I was at my wood's end. I was like, Lord, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know if you want me to keep going to keep making these films because I just didn't have the money that I needed. And I was sharing with a couple that I was just feeling frustrated and not knowing if God wanted me to keep going, and later that night they and these were just you know people that I had known through a different um you know situation they were they weren't necessarily supporters of GK Chesterton Entertainment and they just went home that day and looked at the website and that evening we were all at a, a same uh, dinner and they came to me and gave me a card and told me that they 
they felt that God wanted me to keep going. And it was just enough money to make Maximilian Colby. So it was, just, you know, praising God that, that that could be done. And I would have hoped to, you know, it's all in God's timing, right? It's like I wanted to do it um, faster than we did, but it just didn't line up that way. Julie, you know, Julie and our director, we had to work with his schedule and then, and then our schedule and Kevin and I were getting married. So it was, it was a lot, but I'm grateful that we got it done. And it just seemed like, you know, there were obstacles for, for it to happen in general, because I had done so much work as the producer, getting it, getting it ready. And then a week before we lost the actor that we had cast as Maximilian Colby. So you can imagine I was, um, pretty stressed out to say the least. And I just, but at the same time, I don't know, there was this piece that came over me and I was like, Lord, I, I just trust you're going to, to take care of us and handle it. And, and he did. And he sent us Paolo Seglietti, uh, Seglietti. <laughs> I'm saying his name wrong. Um, sorry, my dog is chewing something. Hey, he's got a phone. Anyway, um, it, it's amazing because Paolo was, um, you know, he, we didn't know Paolo and literally we had one week before we were, you know, set to shoot and I had the director lined up, Kevin and I were going to be flying to California. We had all these things to do and we had no main actor and I was just, you know, calling everybody that I could to find out, emailing everybody that I could and I, hey, 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 you want to show your face to everybody? Come here. This is my dog, Red, who you guys see. He's so cute, he's gotten so big, he's now he's now one years old. He's a little cutie pie. <laughs> but anyway, we didn't even know Paolo. And I mean, by God's grace, one person had um, suggested him and someone else suggested him. They didn't even know each other. So I thought, okay, God, this must, you know, must mean something that two people independently are suggesting this man. So I had a conversation with Paolo on the phone. I mean, there wasn't really even time for an audition. It was just that quick. We had to make decisions and go with it. So we really had to just trust in God. And Paolo was also just a faithful uh, Christian Catholic practicing his faith. And so that helped me. <laughs> um, in some ways to, to trust and and I'm glad we did. He did such a beautiful job. And also it was a big it was big for him to make that decision, you know, to we, he had to shave his head to play the role and that's a big thing when you're an actor trying to trying to make it in Hollywood to shave your head and everything. So um just so grateful to Paolo. But we had everything set up so we really couldn't change it we had our locations and other actors that you know we had worked so hard to bring together and as i mentioned this is the largest scope with the costumes that we had to deal with and the amount of actors and prisoners in auschwitz so it was a lot of logistics bringing it together but you know it was just so so powerful and so beautiful and you know another thing i want to share with you guys so the commandant who Freach, who uh, is played by an actor, uh, he's actually German. And while we were on set and we were doing that that moment after it was over and filmed, where he's, you know, he's putting basically, you know, he's putting people to death in that in that moment. He chooses Franceszek, and then that's when Saint Maximilian Kolbe steps forward and gives his life for uh, Franceszek that's what you see in the film and Commandant Freach, who, you know, you don't even want to read about this guy. I mean, it, it's, it's horrible. He just, we have to pray for him. Um, so the actor who played him, as I said, was this German uh, man who is a wonderful actor, but we come back to, it was so hot this day and we were shooting and outside and, we come back into this little like tent holding area and he's wrapped now because he's done his scene and he just breaks down and shares with all of us as we're standing there just how you know how sorry he was for um you know the nazis and the germans 
participation and all of the evil atrocities that had been done. And he just stood there and, and cried and, and apologized, not that he needed to apologize, but it was such a beautiful moment. And of course, you know, the cast came together around him and um, said thank you and also told him, you know, it's, an, it's not on you, man, but we, we appreciate it. It's just really, really beautiful moment. And I, you know, there were so many people that came together on, on this um, film from all different walks of life. And all of them, I mean, I received so many messages from every person that was, especially all the prisoners, uh, who you know, the men who played the prisoners who just, they were so grateful to be a part of this film. And I just was, uh, I don't know, I was overwhelmed. It's like God, you know, God always knows what he's doing, but we create these films, you know, GK Chester Chan Entertainment creates these films so that we can share with the audience, but also there are transformations and conversions and people being touched in the midst of it as we are creating these films. And it's just powerful to watch all of it. And it's, it's one of the things that I love about what I do and creating art is to really, you know, go beyond the, the moment, you know, we are, like I said, we're creating this thing that's gonna go beyond and people are gonna watch, but it's, it's a living, breathing thing in the moment and people are being moved and changed. And, and as, a, as a Catholic and as an artist who um, prays on set and prays before we, we start the day, you know, that's a very important thing to me. And, and I pray that I just be a witness to all of these men and women who work with us, who, like I said, are coming from all walks of life. So it's pretty awesome. It, like I said, it was, a, it was hard work, but it was beautiful work. And um, I'm just so excited about our the final product. I think that we all did an amazing job and um, I was grateful to have my husband, Kevin, you know, he helped, uh, he wrote it along with Julian and I helped, you know, navigate the whole thing and um, give my feedback and edit the story. And then Kevin <laughs> participated as an actor, as one of the friars and and he also, I needed him to be a prisoner at one point. He was great. He'd do anything, uh, anything I needed him to do. And uh, I got to, I played the, the small role of um, Maria Colby. It's, it's um, the young, young Raymond, Maximilian's mother. And it was just, yeah, it was just a lot of, a lot of fun. And working with Julian, Julian's just such a wonderful director and did a beautiful job creating so many different facets of this short film that, He's just so talented with um, all of his artwork and then his eye, his visual eye and what he does with sound effects and, and music. And he's just so talented and grateful to have worked with him and just so excited about the final project because it's not easy, like I said, to to try to give you give the audience a feeling for this life, this person's story in such a short period of time. But I really feel like we did it. And the words, you know, are taken from what we know that Maximilian said, but also from his consecration prayer to Mary. So that echoes through his life and, and you get to see, and I think a lot of people, you know, they don't know, you know, you. I think what when we think of St. Maximilian Colby, we think about that he gave his life for someone else in Auschwitz. But really, Maximilian Kolbe, he was kind of a star in his own right before he ever did that because he was producing, uh, he was producing radio spots. He was doing, um, you know, these pamphlets in all these different languages, like newspapers, to just spread devotion to the Blessed Mother. And it was going all over the world. He started a monastery in Japan. I mean all these things we couldn't obviously show all of that but we tried to show you know little snippets of that so i hope you guys enjoyed the film i'd love your feedback i'd love for you to to continue to share it with people and pray for us you know i don't know what the future holds it's again it comes back to that like lord what do you want us to do next what do you want do you want us to keep going because that really is, you know, I, it's a bummer that it all comes down to money. But, you know, I don't have, I want to get paid, but I don't have to get paid to do this work. I love it. 
I mean, I want to work for God, but we do need money to survive and I have to pay my actors, my director, I have to pay the people who are on set. Um, those, those people have to be paid, so I can't do it with nothing. And in order for GK Chesterton Entertainment to keep going, we need funding and we don't have it right now. So please, if you, you know, if the Lord puts it on your heart to make a donation, please do so. Uh, talk to your friends. Maybe you could come together. I mean, the only way we can make these films is through large donations, honestly. I mean, the small donations help us to continue to keep going, keep our, our bills, our website, our, our, all of that going. But the larger donations are the ones that actually allow us to make these films. And, you know, I when we put the um, information out last time, about which saint we were gonna do, we gave you guys three options and they were all pretty neck and neck. <laughs> so part of me wants to go back and revisit uh, those other two options. I, I, I can't tell you for sure which way we're gonna go at this moment because we, like I said, we still have to do the fundraising. We don't have the money to, to go forward yet, but I know, I know we will if it's God's will, you know, and I know that if we put it out there and we make a decision to move forward with a particular saint that will just raise the money for that saint. So uh, pray for me. And as I pray about which, you know, what the next saint should be, I'm always open to suggestions. If you guys want to leave me a comment on which saint you'd like to see. And remember, we always said from the beginning, if you come forward with enough money to make a film that you can um pick which saint that you want it to be so we are open to that so anyway that's where we are i want you to take a look at the show if you haven't i just want to thank you for for sticking with us and believing in us and and supporting us and i love you all and let's i just want to say a prayer with you together um so let's pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I also, I, I'd love to ask your prayers for just some personal intentions um, for my, my family. My dad's really been suffering with a lot of different ailments. And um, so if you could please lift him up for complete healing. And then uh, just for me personally, I, I've had some things that I've been dealing with. So if you could just please... Uh, say a prayer for me I would appreciate that and and for my husband of course and, and God's will to be done in our lives but I just Heavenly Father we just come before you we ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us in this moment Lord there are so many people who are suffering who are struggling we just bring them to our minds whether it's family whether it's ourselves whether it's the world or whatever we know the, the issues that are going on lord we just place them in your hands right now and we ask you lord to pour out your precious blood upon all of us that we may be healed whether it be physically emotionally spiritually lord god please bless us heal us strengthen us Give us the strength for the fight. Give us the strength for the journey. Let us always know that you're with us, that you love us, that you are holding us in the palm of your hand, Lord. We love you so much, and we are just so grateful for all of the blessings that we receive. Thank you for the love that we get to exchange with you and with each other in community. We pray all of these things in your name, dear Jesus. We offer up our, we surrender our, our, our wants, our desires, the future. We offer it up to you because you know what's best. And we just ask for your holy will to be done in our lives. We pray all of this in your name, dear Jesus, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother Mary, for, through all the angels and saints, we say amen. And we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. St. Maximilian, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. Oh, St. Joan of Arc, pray for us. St. Therese, pray for us. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. All you holy men and women, pray for us. Thanks again to all of you for your support, for all the many years of support, for your prayers, for your love. God bless you all. We hope to be seeing you again soon. And please, please go watch the film and share it with others. And let me know what you think. And let me know who you think I should do our next Momentous Soccer on. All right. God bless you. Bye.